this week on Digging in the Dome. I'll tell you what's pleasurable. Okay. Spout Blow jobs. Oh. oh. <laughs> we can both be right. Some interesting spouts relating, relating reparations to Native Americans. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going at all. <laughs> Yay, little carts. <laughs> this is it. I knew it was going to come down to it. 58% of the people said... Welcome to Digging in the Dome. Welcome to Threading in the Dome. We are threads. <laughs> we are both threads. Frayed, frayed threads. That is patent pending, threading in the dome. <laughs> as long as there are no other competing social media yeah, we are, uh, we don't want companies, to get sued. <laughs> we're, we're starting yarn. Yes. We're yarn. It's going to be exactly like Twitter. Exactly. And threads. Yes. And then uh, we'll, but we'll, we'll, we'll only talk about sewing. Exactly. <laughs> Knitting. Crocheting. Exactly. Not an older demographic. And your nana's gonna love it. Exactly. <laughs> Commercials for grandparent porn on our <laughs> site, so that we can get all the the views that we oh, want. Yeah. So yes, threading. So uh, apparently, yeah. like you were saying before we uh, started this thing, Mark Zuckerberg is like resorting to all of the uh, the child tropes that you can think of. The Arrested Development man who is like, "Come on, Elon, let's go fight." <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, sure, I'll fight you, kid. Whatever." And he's like. I'll make my own Twitter. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's called threading. Mark, Mark Zuckerberg is a, a man baby who ruined humanity by creating Facebook. Yes. Um, so I have I have no uh I have no love for him whatsoever. No. But uh he is pissing on Elon's parade, which which makes things it's quite hilarious. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. And we, like this is this is what if there's anything that uh is good that comes out of social media, right. it's exactly this. Right. They're both humongous billionaire dorks. Yes. Um, I'm sure that uh, fucking um, fucking Amazon guy. What the oh, fuck Bezos. Is I'm sure Jeff Bezos is going to be like, well, I want to I want to play, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He'll come up with his. Yes. Uh, it branches. Pri <laughs> Primeo. Uh, prim Primeo. Yeah, Primeo. Yes. Prime that's time. A, yeah, Welcome to prime time. <laughs> it's my new it's my new app. Yeah. Sign up now. That's terrible. Well, I did, I'm just annoyed that I now have to fucking figure out how to navigate a, another, another social thing? media. Yeah, it sucks. Well, I gave up on Facebook. I never started TikTok. I could give two fucks about TikTok. Um, and like everything else, I've been Twitter, you know, a little uh, bit, Twitter, a little bit. Yeah. Twitter for a while until, until uh, you know, kind of it's the kind of the pits now. Yeah. Um, it, you know, really, it's just Instagram and then on threads just now because threads. it was threading through my Instagram. Like, fine. Jesus Christ. Yes. Fine. Invite all my friends. I don't yeah, care. Literally tying me up. Yes, exactly. Um, but In nuts. Yeah. So, um, I wanted to talk to you about something. Uh, so vacations, right? Yes. So my girlfriend and I went away for the first time without the baby. Yes. Right? That's a big day. Um, so it was fantastic. We stayed in this like, you know, lavish beefront hotel in Cape May, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Um, it's weird growing up down there and then having to find a place to stay down there now. Yeah, it's like, wait, yeah, can I just stay at my parents' house? Yeah, exactly. Oh, wait, that's right. They don't live down here yeah, anymore. exactly. I can stay at my parents' house. I just don't want to. <laughs> no offense, Gray Mare. No, no, I love you. But you, uh, but, but when... Uh, uh, your roommate is... <laughs> well, dude, he's, he's actually gotten... To the, I don't know if we've talked about this all that much, but I don't know what it is, but he's now turning into a lizard or something because he keeps the house at like 90 degrees. It's like... <laughs> I'm like, why the fuck is it so hot in here, right? And I'm always there, like, to help, like, pitching a hand right. in the kitchen and stuff like that. So now I'm cooking, uh, and it's so all, I'm like, I might as well be in Vietnam <laughs> over a fire pit. It's ridiculous. And then I, like, change it, and then he's like, ah, he grumbles, like, I change it to, like, a normal temperature. This right. doesn't, because everybody's sweating. It's not just me that's uncomfortable. Right. Everybody's Every, not yeah. comfortable. <laughs> the only person that's comfortable is fucking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway, sorry. So um, we're there. It's Vacation. great. Yes. Um, and people that are from the Philadelphia area and New Jersey and New Jersey will understand what I'm talking about here. You will definitely get this. Yeah. So 
Driving in Philadelphia in general is a nightmare. It's terrible. It's one of the most traveled roads in the entire country. Yeah. With it designed in the least travelable fashion. Okay, so it's it's like, like the, the the biggest major highway in Philadelphia is a two lane highway. Right. It's like cut out of a mountain. You're like this <laughs> yeah, rock. Exactly. They, they were like, well, we're just going to put up, we're going to plow right through here, but it we're going like, to make it real you know, narrow. Props to Ben Franklin for putting things all together, but I don't know who decided that they never, never needed to upgrade it from 1770, whatever, yeah, exactly. <laughs> from whenever they fucking built that highway. It was poorly yeah, planned. It's fucking poorly planned. It's yes. dog shit. So traffic all the time on that road. Terrible. doesn't matter what time of day or night. No. It is constantly traffic. Anyway, so it's a very pleasant drive from coming back up until you get to one point. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. There is a highway and it is the most pantshittingly terrifying segue to getting to Philadelphia from New Jersey. And it's Route 42 <laughs> where it basically <laughs> goes – it goes from – the Atlantic City Expressway or f- 55 yep. tur- turns into this juncture where it just becomes like five lanes. It, it, it's like merging from a peaceful intersection into the Indianapolis 500. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's wild. It's fucking yeah. chaos. Yeah. People are going 9,000 miles an hour. Yep. It's like fucking six lanes. And then it splits right. into two. Like two and then. And then but it, those lanes are never all open. No. So no. it basically goes from like six lanes to like down to two lanes. Yes. And everybody's going a thousand miles an hour. Right. So we're coming up to the Walt Women Bridge, right? Okay. Yep. Where it splits that's off. Where, that's right. where it gets really chaotic. Yeah. yeah. Because it's, then you've got the people that have gone off to the Ben Franklin Bridge. Right. Exit. Towards, yeah. And now and we the, have now narrowed it down to a very small group of lanes. So this this left this far left lane is ending. Right. Right. Needs to you have, you have to, to merge, merge over, over, right? Sure, hundred percent. So this woman in a brown Lexus SUV, mm-hmm. who is this makes me insane, is talking on her cell phone, speaker phone, like while she's driving, like holding this? her phone, like talking to the speaker. <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen any of these gem people oh, who fantastic. have the technology in their car to have yeah. hands free, but they don't use it. But they don't use it. Nope. Oh, no. oh I oh, want yeah. you to die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're one of those people, please don't listen, listen to this podcast. Yes, I hope like- you fucking die. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> well, you're you're really rolling the dice. Yeah, by because just fucking- you're creating chaos, chaos on the roads. Yeah, 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 sure. You're you're you're. If you do that, if you're talking on your cell phone like this yes. while you're driving, you're a piece of shit driver, and you should have your license taken away from Agreed. you. Agreed. One hundred percent. This woman's pulling up. It, 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 now, where's your car? Is where? I'm behind Here? her. Right, so directly behind her. Okay. And then right? the, and this is where the, the, the this merging is where is where everything's merging, merging to, to get onto the Walt Women. Got it. She fucking stops. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, so no. no. I, of no, no, course, no, no, no. have to stop. Right. Right. No, she doesn't slow down. She, she, she goes, she, Yeah. So everybody's breaking, 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 right? Going around. Yeah, fucking yeah, dancing, right. motherfucker. Yeah. So all of a sudden, I see in my rear view mirror white plastic barrier flying up in the air like of like like a fucking like a like a fucking michael bay movie it's just like plastic exploding like a, part, a part of the statue of liberty so somebody was doing a thousand miles an hour because people were assholes and drive like insane especially fucking on that people. road yeah and they couldn't stop in time right so their only choice was either plow into the car in front of them and kill everybody right um or go off to the side where the road, where the lane was closing, right. and just plow through these barriers, and that's right. what they did. And plow, it just blow it up, all because this woman in this fucking Lexus wow. SUV stopped instead of merging, like, getting what? over anything, anything but stopping. Listen, you're an asshole for for talking into your speakerphone while you're driving for sure, but. You still have fucking eyes. Yeah. It's not like, unless you're like screaming into the phone, like you're yelling at the person that right. they're right there. Like, it was, what are you doing? It It's one of the most pants shitting roadways. Oh, yeah. Because it, 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 it goes from fucking four lanes to six lanes to one and a half lanes. Yeah, exactly. And everybody's doing 100 miles an hour. Yeah, because no one understands that. No one's driven this road a thousand times it, before and they know what's coming up. I remember on that road when I was probably my... Yeah, like early 20s, I remember seeing a dead body in the middle of the road that they were cleaning up because somebody went through their fucking windshield. There you go. On the on that fucking yeah. road. It was like, it is dude, not that the road safest. is fucking crazy. So well, if if you listen to this podcast and you know what I'm talking about, by all means, please share your 
stories of driving in Philadelphia oh. because that is a goddamn nightmare. It's, it is the worst. And I get to do it in two days. So that's oh, good yeah. for me to hear yeah. about the uh, the near death experience. And driving, uh, driving, driving there down, is a pain in the ass. It's just traffic. Yeah. But like coming back, that road fucking sucks. It blows. Yeah. It's not fun. I was like, okay, got to die. Uh, you're like, this is fantastic. Yeah. Well, at least, at least property got damaged and hopefully something bad <laughs> happened. Cars got later. damaged. Um, so, uh, so I got a, a, something weird uh, that Ali keeps bothering me about. Okay. That I, I took a look at this and I don't know if you've seen anything about this person, Colleen Ballinger. Who? Exactly. So apparently she's like a, I'm not sure if she's like a Disney person or okay. like just a performer for like kids, but like a really super popular one. I okay. think that she's been doing, um, you know, like social media content for a long period of time. What did you say her name was? Uh, uh, Colleen Bol- Bollinger. Oh yeah. First thing that comes up. Yeah. So uh, they said she's a comedian, which is awesome. But like basically uh, she um, – I mean, she gets mad views on YouTube, that's for sure. Yes. And she's getting for all the wrong reasons. So uh, right now there is a lot of accusations about her grooming her fans. Like there's all this, these people that are coming out. Like it's again, um, amazing to me that it, it, it takes this long for these people just to like come out and say it They're, you know, but they finally did. And um, she wrote a 10 minute apology song. A 10 minute apology song. Okay. I don't want to listen to it. Don't make me do no, it. I'm not going to make okay, you do thank it. Thank you. I'll pour a fucking drink in your laptop. <laughs> oh, that, please don't do that. <laughs> it's um, smart. But she, she does it. It's a 10 minute. It's basically her uh, saying like half not saying that she, she's not saying like if someone's like, hey, you want to fuck children. You're like, no, absolutely not. I do not want to fuck right. children. That is a bold faced line. To right. Fucking sue you for your defamation of character. Well, she instead does a ukulele song for 10 minutes about how uh, it's not all thing, things aren't all what they seem. And it is being roasted as the worst apology in the history of apologies. OK, uh, it's uh, there. I, I think that there are lyrics to this Eight million followers on Instagram under fire after an old video of her performing with a painted face resurfaces. Oh, that was just like four hours ago. Yeah. Um, she apparently was accused of wearing blackface in a in a performance. Y- yeah. Um, to do Beyonce, but apparently it turned out it was green face paint. Uh, yeah, but that's still she, not, inappropriate yeah. conduct accusations. Yes. Um, her fans say she groomed them as teens. Uh, yeah. Miranda sings. Sings. Uh, yeah. That's another person that we don't know about that apparently is very popular. I don't know. Uh, so let's listen to this. So these are, these are, I'm just going to sh- one verse cause it's, it, this is fantastic okay. and it's not like she's not like doing like um i mean ukulele it's not like you can just fucking be like you know right. like you're not gonna so it's just like so it's like a ding 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 so it's um uh hi everyone i've been wanting to come on this is the, the lyrics i've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things and uh um even though my team has strongly advised me not to say what i want to say so right there this is 10 seconds into the song, you've just admitted that everybody that you care about and that is out, like, if anyone's looking out for your career, it's the people right. that are saying, shut the fuck up and don't say anything. Just stop talking. Right. And instead. Certainly don't apologize via ukulele. Yes. <laughs> it's a <laughs> weird. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> I didn't do the touch of kids. I wasn't a grooming them. Um, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I wanted to say. So she's saying, oh, I'm taking the literal sense, which if you're her manager or your, her family, you just smack her and be like, you fucking asshole. Don't be stupid like that. Uh, I want to talk about the facts. So I hope that you will be list, be willing to listen. So here we go. Many years ago, I used to message my fans. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. Except that they're posting like pictures of the things that she's saying to these people, right. and it's not good. It definitely is inappropriate, <laughs> right? Like you're like, wait a minute. All right, so you saw something on here. It says like. She was had like had a fourteen year old come up on one of her live performances and yes. like act out porn or porn porn pornographic like, situations. Yeah, something along those dude, lines. this this girl is when I tell you that she is. Uh, we've said this before. She is so fucking fired. It is unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like you're done. That's it. She's fucking torpedoed. Which I, 
Not necessarily, but probably. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a, especially for someone who has like 8 million followers on Instagram, sure. like she does. Yep. There's a world where she, you're right. Segways this into something else. That's a, that's a excellent point. She yeah. could parlay this into something Whatever. weird or different, but yeah. like if she's got any kind of following, but it, it doesn't look good for this lady. Um, and that black, I didn't know. Thank you for clarifying that it was face. green face. Cause I saw him like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. This lady is the most canceled yeah, she, person ever. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> still, man, I mean like, yeah, choose your battles, man. Maybe don't wear the face paint. Yeah. Like, yeah <laughs> Even I, if it's dark green. Yeah. Th- th- this, this can't be misconstrued as anything, right? I'm the incredible Hulk. Oh yes. Go right ahead. She Hulk. <laughs> it's like, what song are you singing? Swing low. Oh, swing. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, uh, man you're like fucking yeah use some goddamn common sense There's for once. The, it doesn't doesn't exist but this person um it, and we're definitely 10 minutes worth of pain is not I, not I, worth no, it i don't want i'm it. not doing that I don't want but it. i'll tell you what's pleasurable okay Spout blow off. jobs oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can both be right <laughs> Oh, so, uh, yeah, you know, now that we're getting, towards, thing. we're getting towards the, uh, the, uh, oh wait, one more thing before we go into spell. So, um, it was funny. So the other day you would have loved it. I went to, uh, tuned up and I ate shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. It wasn't, but it wasn't just me. We, everybody, the, the room was just, it was hot. This is Chris doing stand up. He just oh, didn't yeah. go to a place and <laughs> he started eating shit. <laughs> That's a good clarification. I, I got all tuned up and, and I, I started eating shit. shit. <laughs> shit. I Somebody was, was actually talking I was about, real drunk. Talking about that John Waters film. Um, what was it called? Pink Flamingos or something like that, where Divine eats poop off the ground, like dog poop off the what? ground. What? Yeah. No. no I, I'm not advocating for it. I'm saying it's a thing that happened. It's a John <laughs> Waters film. Um, oh, man. Uh, so anyway. Um, yeah, John Waters' films are fucking weird. Yeah. What was that? Was John Waters a racer head? Was that John Waters? Uh, no. Oh, Eraserhead. Uh, Eraserhead was, um, what's that, Kubrick? No, I don't remember. Uh, I'm not going to look it up. All right, look. No. God not, damn it. This is terrible. All right, so this Eraserhead. is what we're going to do. We are going to um, read some spout-offs because it's been a while since we've gotten to do some headlines or anything. Oh, it's David Lynch. David Lynch, thank you. Yeah. I'm to you. Hello, this is a dentist reporting again. All right. Okay. So, spout off. I uh, I, pulled yes. some, I pulled plenty of gems. May I confess? Yes. That you have looked at. Yeah. I thought I was going to grab a copy of the Herald while I was down there. Yes. And we would do the paper, John. Yeah. Not that we would have had time to go over the whole thing. Sorry. Yeah. It was like eyes itching. That's um, right, buddy. Fucking allergies. Um, also, it's a thousand degrees outside. Did you know it's the third hottest day, like ever, ever or in the world, in the world right? right? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Like the, from the like con- total, yes. uh, like the cumulative t- temperature t- of the yeah. earth. <laughs> it's the third hottest day ever in oh. the history of ever. Yeah. And boy, does it feel like it. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I was gonna grab the paper version of it and yeah. have us do it that way, and I forgot. Um, so bye, fucking bad. That's right. You're you're good. We I have plenty uh, plenty of these to go through. We, these oh, are. Yeah. I'm just gonna pick and choose, man. I just go for it. All right. So let's let's. Um, there's usually a coin floating around here. Oh, here we go. All right, ready. Call in the air. Heads. It's tails. All right. So beautiful. You go, you go first. All right. Now this is just this is the way to kick off. Okay. A session to spout off from the villas. <laughs> Always the villas. Anybody know where I can get some good potato salad? <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> to smell. Like, like, just, go outside and ask somebody. I'm going to wait for a week. Go until to the grocery can... store and ask somebody. <laughs> go to ask Spout off. You're like, hey. Yeah. It's like Millhouse. <laughs> like, yeah. Fucking watch. Yeah. Uh, another Simpsons reference. Mm. Fuck, follow us on Twitter. Every single on time. Um, Anybody know where I can get some good potato <laughs> That's it? That's the that's entirety it. of it? That's it. That's the entirety of it. Not like, I tried the potato salad from blah, 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 and it was still shit. Tell- that's Anyone know <laughs> what gets a potato salad? <laughs> oh, man. That's a great album name. Oh, God. That's so fucking funny. Anybody know where I can get some potato salad? I love it. Um, All right. So. Um, there's a lot of political ones in there. Oh, of course. I'm just going to try to skip uh, over those. Um, random Stone Harbor one. Iran harassing oil tankers in the Gulf. 
Under JB's leadership, no action is taken. It seems to be a reoccurring theme. The end result would be gas prices going to over $4 again. That, that's t- <laughs> Iran harassing oil tankers in the Gulf. Under They're JB, harassing them? What do you mean? Uh, under, <laughs> under JB's leadership. <laughs> JB. Hmm, who could that Dude, be? JB. Yeah. I love it. Uh, all right. Let me see. Which one about this one? Oh, yeah. I got to go. I mean, like, I got to follow up good with good, right? Mm-hmm. From Kate May. Pickleball is for hoardy torty <laughs> people that can't play tennis or ping pong. I'm sick of hearing about this pickleball nonsense. Kids need a place to play. Go to your clubs and act like you do something. <laughs> Another, boy, they hate. There's people that really hate pickleball, man. It's a, I mean, I thought the political stuff in here was divisive. The, the, the war on pickleball is real, bro. Um, I see one about how difficult it is to use apps to park, bitching about that. Oh, yeah, that's that one. Yeah, there's there's a lot of parking ones in there today. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Dennisville. <laughs> I used to be a worker in a landscape team. I was employed legally with work permits paid for seasonally by my quote unquote handlers. The owners are white. I now have my own team of Hispanic workers who I employ. I employ zero Caucasians. <laughs> As none have ever applied. <laughs> they're, not, they're not interested in working for me. I have noticed I have noticed that there are no Caucasians on any construction sites except plumbers. It's all my people. And we are still looked down on by whites. Called illegals. Without us, your world stops. No houses built, no crops picked. Oh, well, <laughs> goddamn. I don't want houses to not be built or I crops love, not be picked. I employ zero Caucasians. I, I employ zero. <laughs> Can you imagine if, if like, somebody, like, a boss of a company came out and was like, huh. I employ zero blacks. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, what? <laughs> Your business is due. Yeah, finished. <laughs> Done. I employ zero Mexicans. That's right. Anything, anything but white. <laughs> yes. White You're, people are like, the people are like, eh, all right. Yeah. Whatever. No, you have your business. We're good. Yeah, you're fine. You're doing we, a great we, job over there. Hey, look, crops are getting picked. Houses are being built. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's the, happy. The infrastructure is sound. All right. White, white plumbers like your dad? White plumbers like my dad. All right, here we go. Uh, this is, again, from the Villas. Okay. What I'm saying, com- commenter, is that the majority feels sorry for the quote-unquote homeless. Mm-hmm. They won't open their eyes to the fact that The homeless mostly chose to go without a home and get paid by the government to stay that way. I know what I want to do in the middle of the winter. Sleep outside on the ground. Because it's not cold and wet and fucking terrible. I'm choosing not to have a house. I would definitely not like to have a house. I guarantee you, 100 out of 100 homeless people, if you said, hey, it's not much, but I have this small house that you can live in. Yeah. 100. It's got a bathroom, shower. Yeah. Go right ahead. Living room, TV. It's just, it could be a fucking shack. Yeah. It's better than not having a roof over right. your head. They chose to go without a home right. and get paid by the government. The government part, yeah, I guess they could. Uh, you could argue that. But if they're homeless, that would mean and that they have some kind of thing. Where they, they could be in a hotel or something. Yeah, how much are you getting paid by the government to be willing to sleep outside? Yeah, like they, it's a like it's a fucking like it's a fucking like a some sort of test. Yeah, like some you know yeah, I mean? like, like some mayor employees you, paying the homeless. Hey, can you do me a favor? This place doesn't smell enough like piss yet. <laughs> Just have a nice coat right around yeah. here on Arch Street. I'll give you a hundred bucks. <laughs> like, how, how much are they actually, the guy, I mean, how much are they making off of whatever, disability, unemployment? I, but it can't be that much. They're homeless to people. Be willing, to be yes. willing to sleep outside. Yeah, I'm just not going to Purposely sleep outside. That's ridiculous. All right, um, go ahead. Here you go. Kidney County. As a prodigal myself, I pray all prodigals will return home. In Jesus' holy name, amen. <laughs> That's the whole thing. <laughs> I don't. Uh, <laughs> I, what's what's that? A prodigal, a prodigal, like the prodigal, a prodigal son? returns. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, why they? I don't. But I, I am also prodigal. Pro, yeah, as I'm a prodigal myself. Prodigy, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I pray all prodigals will return home. Jesus' holy name, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, Philadelphia. Ooh, one from Philly. Okay. Special thanks to the oh, Philadelphians are participating. In oh this yeah, segment? Philadelphia's getting on the action, oh, my friend. Shit. Either that or they're doing it under like a. They don't want they're, people to know they're doing spout off things, yeah. so they're. Pretending they're from a different part of the country. Uh, special thanks to the neon green safety hat personal gentleman on the beach who kept me nice and wet during the heat wave with shade and water. <laughs> to the neon green safety hat person, <laughs> personal gentleman. The, I've been on the beach a lot. Yeah. 
I don't remember seeing any neon green safety hat. Personal personnel gentlemen? Personal gentlemen? I, I, is he talking about like like the person is neon green? Is, is I, I think he saw like a recycling can and thought it was a person giving him shade and maybe the, 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 the water coming out of it. <laughs> Shaking my fist. <laughs> Dude. What are you looking at me for, you Dion Green and hat man? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. I think they saw a porta potty. All right, here we go. Town right, Bank. Go. I heard something that made me do a double take because I couldn't believe it was true. LCMRHS, which is Lower Cape May Regional High School, yes, yes. didn't replace a retiring home ec teacher and instead are substituting a video game playing class instead. This is a school, right? Guess what these kids already know how to do? Play video games. Guess what they'll need to do in life? Cook, sew, budget, laundry. It gets worse. Oh, God. I learned that the school spent $80,000 <laughs> for 22 gaming computers. That's $3,600 each. My kids graduated LCMR in the 90s. The home ec class was beneficial. I'm really glad they're not there now. <laughs> Oh, my God. So we graduated in the 90s, right? Yeah, we did. Would you rather have gone to home ec, which I did. Uh-huh. And I actually liked home ec. I was actually. Like, I did. I, 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 mean, could, I, I learned how to cook. I did so shit. I could fucking sew a button on a pair of pants right now. Like, you know, yep. I learned some things, some tools that. Or would you have rather have been playing Wolf Castle Wolfenstein or, Dude, or Doom or any Doom? of the other 90s games? You guys can kiss. Uh, I'll fucking I'll choke you with that apron <laughs> and take your video game. Can you imagine seat. like uh, going into school and being a and here's the thing. You know how much that would rule? I know. Goldeneye playing <laughs> Goldeneye. <laughs> here's the fuck. Here's off. what this fucking uh, fucking old head misconstrued. What they're teaching them how to do is build computing. Uh, computers. Yep. Build like actual build computers. Mm-hmm. Program. Yep. It's not just a video game playing class. No, they're, like, not, just, they're not just letting people let them roll in there. All yeah. right, you guys go ahead and fucking Street, Street Fighter Two. Let's go. <laughs> it's, it's loser, fucking, loser has to shave yeah. one of his eyebrows off. Play some fucking new AEW wrestling game. Have at Hell it. Oh yes, fight forever. So wild. The, the uh, what these people okay. Think. All right. Um, I'm between two racist ones that I, I, I... Why not do both? Ah, you're, that's a good point. All right, let me start <laughs> off with this one. All right. North Cape May. Here is a capital fact. Okay. Guns, capital don't, like all the letters, fire unless capital someone is holding them. Capital fact. <laughs> if we stop gangs, criminals, drugs, and psychotic people, we wouldn't have these issues. Very simple. Right. No drugs, no psychotic people, criminals and gangs gone. Yeah. I'm sure that would make things better. Yeah. No psychos and fucking, uh, you know, criminals. Great. And for the record, even back, even back the night, back the 1960s, back the 1960s, <laughs> back em. we had as many dangerous guns out in the U.S. then as we have, then we have now it, the U.S. then we have now. Nobody has a Thompson submachine gun. Yes, guns do kill, but Not it takes some gun. <laughs> <laughs> but it takes someone to shoot it. Capital all the way for this whole sentence. Grow up, liberals, comma, grow up. <laughs> Real in your emotions. Uh, maybe ask why. The blacks are killing each other in Baltimore, LA, <laughs> Philly, Philly there you Chicago. Go. Yep. Yeah, this yeah, is go, what, stop yeah, that last sentence. You could not stop the werewolf from coming on out. <laughs> yeah, <He was> like, <laughs> <"Arr!"> <laughs> Also, ask yourself this. Why did our government just order 250,000 M4A2 rifles? Hmm. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. People are fucking nuts, dude. Oh, man. Wait, all right, go knock out your oh, second yeah, one. My second racist one. Wait, let me find it. Uh, that's the pickleball for Horty Toity. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, from Kate May again. Some interesting spouts relating, relating reparations to Native Americans. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going at all. <laughs> I suppose by that rationale, Native Americans should have to pay reparations to each other, too. The varying groups, Cherokee, Shawnee, Mohawk, Huron, Delaware, the list is in the hundreds, pushed one another out over land long before and after Europeans arrived. Also, the Cherokee owned black slaves. So I guess their descendants who had nothing to do with it should pay up, too. Once you start on this path, it's a slippery slope. I don't want to pay for brown people. <laughs> yeah. That's all you had to say. Sum it up, Or red people or any people. Any that people, matter. that's not me. Let's not do any reparations. 
I got another prayer one. This is so random. Okay. Kimmy Courthouse again. Dear Father in Heaven, we pray you will wrap those who suffer from mental illness in a hedge of protection and carry them through. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. A hedge of protection? <laughs> Let me give you this. Let me get his bush packing it, <laughs> backing into the shrub. That's what it is. Oh, it's, it's my hedge of protection. protection. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. That's what we're calling this podcast: hedge of protection. All right, oh, dude. Man, wrap there, me in a hedge of protection, dude. I guarantee there's more prayer ones in there if you keep looking. All oh, right, probably, dude. This is just great. This is okay. classic. This is this one has all the things I've ever loved about Spout Off, and I love a lot. But this has, this is like the, for me, a, a perfect spout. All right. Kate May Courthouse. <laughs> hey, Delaware County spouter. You need to know how to explain more clearly. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, Delaware County spouter. You need to know how to explain more clearly. Could, Can you explain more clearly? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You're like, hey, you one person. And it was point that one remember like they, they do that sometimes where it's just like a single person, like, hey, oh, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, like, and there's no name to it. So no. it's just whatever the respect. But they couldn't even narrow it down to a town. Just got the whole fucking county. Yep, yeah, no. It's just a random person from Delaware County. Oh man. They need to exp- explain things more clearly. Was, clearly. Where was the one? There was another one about because you remember the last time. Mm-hmm. Uh um Oh, here we go. Wildwood. The new beach trucks are looking in need of a good wash and vac. That's the that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. Beach that's, trucks are dirty. This, this is a, yeah, you dirty truck. <laughs> so no way to get trucks. good potato salad. I want potato. Some this good potato got salad. Got some dirty trucks. Potato salad. Oh, my God. Oh, man. There was one about whales again. Oh, here's one for whales like, and I got a sea turtle one. Okay. Right. Ocean, <laughs> Ocean City. To the Cape May spatter who told us not to lose our minds over the sea turtle washed up on the shore. This person doesn't know how to uh, punctuate. They don't realize that a when lot, you most people in this don't when you hit like if you put a period that you're supposed to be a space before the next sentence starts, <laughs> or else it looks like it's been written by right. a severely autistic person. Um, all right, you said it was not the fault of the w- the wind turbines, but it was caught on a net. Nice try, pro wind turbine person. <laughs> Ah, you thought you can get one past me, pro wind turbine person. Well, think again. And I'll pull the wool over my eyes, pal. Pro wind. <laughs> Wait, there's more. All right. How do you know that for sure? Question mark without a space into the next sentence. How about the poor whales and dolphins spelled D-O-L-P-H-E-N-S? Oh, the dolphins. dolphins. <laughs> the, Miami, sh- the Miami dolphins. <laughs> yeah, it's like the, ex- uh, the ex- XFL the do- version. Yeah. The Miami <laughs> the dolphins. dolphins. Um, okay, how about the, the poor whales and dolphins washing ashore right after the, t- the turbines were installed? I guess that was from Nets also, period, no space again. I'd like to know where the animal and sea creature rights groups are on this. Why are they so silent? Perhaps you and they bought stock in the Danish wind turbine company <laughs> and you couldn't care less about these poor creatures. Nets, uh, come on, man. I know, I know. You know what? I know PETA is really into investing in Danish wind, wind turbines. Yes, <laughs> exactly. What the, Why? <laughs> Make- the Danish are, 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 are lovely people. I don't. Know, I don't know why animal rights groups would invest in wind turbines. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I, but but even if that, like, know. let's say that they did. Let's say that they believed in wind turbines. They, they, their job is to like expose. We can't just ignore like a, a crisis of dolphins and whales on the beach and sea turtles. I I, I don't understand how bad of this is for sea creatures. So I need to do more research. I agree. Because I agree. I, I just admit, I have this picture in my head, which is not a picture that is true at all, right. but it makes me laugh of like the wind turbines being too low in the water. Okay. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> just chopping up fucking dolphins as they swim by. I don't think that's what's that happening. Danish wind turbines get into slurry nest. <laughs> <laughs> Little Lisa slurry. <laughs> Oh, fuck. That's oh, funny. Fuck. The wind turbines do. It's right. so goddamn funny. Here we go. Phyllis. Yeah. Rude lower township employees should remember that residents help pay their salaries. The gravy train could end. <laughs> ah, yes. The gravy train for the lower township employees. <laughs> oh, oh man. Yeah, dude, raking, in the big, <laughs> raking in the big bucks. And that's lower when township. the big bucks come rolling in. <laughs> lower township trash guy. Oh, my God. 
I got one more. I right, good. Seattle City. Shoebies. <laughs> I love it already. It's stop, <laughs> look, and listen, not cross the road, listen, look, then stop. <laughs> oh, my God. So cross the road. Right. Listen, <laughs> look, and then, and then stop. <laughs> that's a surefire way to get hit by a car, my friend. But they've already crossed the road. I know. They've already, well, they've already, they made it to the other side. And then they, they look at it. They're like, oh, I wonder if there was a car back there. Right. You made a ghost. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I got one. I love this one. Another wind-related hatred. Okay. Uh, Stone Harbor. I wonder, I wonder how many of the wind farm haters enjoyed the fireworks. Fireworks significantly harm local wildlife. Imagine trying to lay an egg in the dunes with those going off. Those people are not honest. Like, what? Imagine laying so, like, can you imagine? First of all, I don't know that, like, I'm pretty sure that animals, birds have some level of insanity. Unless they really have to shit an egg out, they're probably going to wait till after the fireworks are done. You know what I mean? Like, the wait to the morning. I'm not sure. I, I am no ornithologist, but I bet you. <laughs> I'm also not ornithologist uh, Simpson. <laughs> ornithologist. Oh, here we go. Here comes the <laughs> OJ Simpson. The world. Here comes the OJ Simpson material. No, no, no. no Chris no. is standard. No. <laughs> Eating shit at fucking. Yes. And uh, tuned up while uh, doing no. OJ material. Now, my, it was not actually. Uh, OJ material was fine. It wasn't what bombed. Um, but. Um, I just it's a it's a weird thing to say, like, OK, so obviously this person is one of the people from PETA that owns stock in the Danish wind turbine company that <laughs> yeah. is living the high life in Stone Harbor and saying, well, fireworks make birds not want to like get too scared to lay an egg. <laughs> I mean, like, it's just insane. It, your opinion is just being like fired into this small uh, uh, like chasm of like information going to All maybe right. six people that might happen yeah, on your spouse. It's crazy. All right, I, this one is it. This is it. Wildwood. Okay. All right, really Wildwood? Question mark. Pickle pizza? Question mark. That's all she wrote. <laughs> really Wildwood? Pickle pizza? Like all of the entire city of it? Wildwood decided. You know what? Pickle pizza. Yeah, guys. Guess what? Regular all, pizza out. out outlawed. <laughs> you know how Ocean City is a dry city. Yeah, it's a max. We are only a pickle mac pizza and city. mancos. No, nope, no nope. more. We get pickle, pickle pizza. Pickle. Pickleball pizza. Oh, pickleball <laughs> and a pickleball court on the side. How popular! Oh Christ! All right, we got to move on, man. All right, gotta, well, we will um, take a break and we'll come back and. Um, oh, oh, hold on. Sorry, oh, I just got, got one more? more. Yeah. All right. I love it. Give me Corrales. Uh -huh. I'm a huge fan of the little carts at grocery stores. I feel like I have more control physically, mentally, and emotionally. Emotionally. When, when paired with little cart. Yay, little carts. <laughs> <laughs> that is no way, dude. I feel like I have more control physically, mentally, and emotionally when paired with little carts. Oh man, he yay, little carts! Can you imagine how bummed he would be. Oh, he goes to giant. Well, I mean, maybe he, maybe he should be driving a little cart. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe also wear a helmet in that little cart, <laughs> sitting in it. All right, well, we'll uh, take a break, listen to Slack Tide, oh, and then man. see in a minute. Do you like beer? Of course you do, but not any beer will do. Absolutely not. The Dome Pieces are people of discerning taste that require a delicious craft beer to celebrate the joys of life or wash away the workday. Well, Slack Tide Brewing has just the tasty cold adult beverage you desire. Slack Tide Brewing was founded in 2015 by Jason and Ted Campbell, two brothers raised in Cape May County, New Jersey, where your delightful hosts also happen to be from. And their philosophy is simple. Create a diverse, high-quality line of beers made with all natural ingredients, sourced locally whenever possible. And to make Slack Tide Brewing a destination in Cape May County where locals feel at home and visitors look forward to returning. Their beers have won multiple awards from the New York International Beer Competition, Philadelphia Brewvitational, GIBC MSC, and the Great American Beer Festival, just to name a few. Not only are their beers available in bars, restaurants, and distributors all across the great state of New Jersey, their beers are now available in the state of Pennsylvania. If you don't see it at your local watering hole, grocery store, or beer distributor, you need to spread the word and tell them that they need to ride the tide. Slack Tide Brewing is currently located at 1072 Route 83 in Claremont, New Jersey, but will soon be breaking ground on a new 9,000 square foot facility on Route 9 in Swainton, New Jersey. 
Check out their website, slacktidebrewingco.com and their Facebook and Instagram pages, Slack Tide Beer, for merchandise, current availability, and upcoming releases. And please, make sure to tell them that Digging in the Dome sent you. Slack Tide Brewing, ride the tide. Must be 21 or older to drink. Please drink responsibly. And we are back. We are back. Hello. Um, so, yeah, spout off. You can just say, saying down. It's, it's, it, it's I, always I so know, funny. I got to know, like, if other small town areas have this, like, kind of thing. Where yeah. it's just a random sounding board for lunatics. I have never heard. And I know we and have like, social media like Twitter. Right. But this is a fucking newspaper. Yeah. So, so that's, <laughs> you know, I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's this isn't different, like a popular social media. This no, is a local this is newspaper. This is literally yeah, shitty website. Yeah, it's, it's fucking paper Twitter. Is what it is. It's, <laughs> we said it before. It's like you're just putting and you're, it's like the longest wait for a response in history. And it's because like someone's going to say something back to you. Probably imagine adding or have a different take. Imagine adding trying to add someone on Twitter or threads. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, yeah. and, uh, and they're the only way to add them would be by the town in which they lived yeah. in. Hey, <laughs> Rehoboth beach. <laughs> yeah. like, what? It's like a dick. It's yeah, like, it's, it's like, what? Malvern, you motherfucker. Yeah, they they do. It is, um, interesting. Cause we, I mean, obviously we've got people that listen to the show that are from, from like crazy weird places. Yeah. Like everywhere. Like, and no one's ever come back to us and said, Hey, we have that too. Yeah. You know, like it's like fucking. <clears throat> like, like yeah haul off or something like that you know? <laughs> like, our, like yeah. our friends in fucking Australia yeah. are, are like fucking stuff, yeah. s yeah. stuffing a message ah, in a boomerang. fucking <laughs> boomerang putting in boomerang you been boomerang <laughs> you been boomerang <laughs> Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Um, all right, so all we got to right, so do the scenario, and scenario. then we got to find out how badly I lost, and fucking... We will get to it. <laughs> Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what, so what, so what's the scenario? Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what, so what, so what's the scenario? Good news, everyone. All right. In, in the Elite Eight. All right, here we go. Let's do it. So... This is a scenario. Uh, so you remember the movie Inside Out? Yes. Um, it's kind of like uh, the cartoon version of the show Herman's Head. Yeah, Herman's Head. I love that show. That show was great. Yeah. Only on for a short period of time. Yeah. Um, but uh, very, very funny. Largely and unliked that show, but I liked it. I, I love, I don't, I, you know, I'll be honest with you, I don't know a lot of people that didn't like that show. It was just really weird. It was and a then, weird show. Yeah, it's like people, yeah. it's, the, the concept is the same. Yeah. You've got people inside of your head. Yeah. representing your uh, emotions, your emotions essentially. Yeah. So, um, so there's good news here mm -hmm. because inside out is actually real. You do have people inside you right. and you get to choose celebrities playing your different emotions. Okay. So, and then we could talk about if there are people that you would definitely not want to have casted in that role. Got it. So the, the emotions are joy, fear, anger, disgust, and sadness. All right. So as we often do flip it, flip it. Tails. Tails it is. So right, which, I'm going to go first. Which one would you like to start I'm going to start right at the top. I'm going Joy. Okay, who? Fucking Paul Rudd, man. Paul Rudd? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's, he is Joy personified. I love it. He is... Look at us, man. He's like, he's like hey, everything's great. He's, he's so good when you see yeah, Paul Rudd. It's so fucking he true. He's genuinely like a yeah, man. completely like that. When, I'll when, tell you when what. life gives you lemons, you just some, you just say fuck the lemons and bail. That's right. <laughs> so it's one, the of best. My, one of my favorite Paul Rudd lines of all time. Okay, so I'm gonna do my casting for Joy, and then you could, if you had one that you didn't want to use. Um, so mine was Danny McBride. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> dude, Danny he always does that. like fuck, dude. Remember when he um. I don't know if it's, I think it was the third season of Eastbound and Down. I want to say it was like the um, the very first episode of that season oh, where he God. came out with a cape. And oh, it was yeah. just like fucking like. Oh, yeah. Every, yeah. When you had the fucking American flag. Yeah. 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 That's like every Fourth of July meme you always see fucking has Dan dude, McBride. Dan McBride. Me. Oh, dude. That guy just Fuck personifies. It, dude. The Gemstones is such an underrated fucking hilarious show. Hilarious show. show. We're watching season three right now. Dude, it's so fucking good. It's so fucking funny. Stephen yeah. Dorff is in season three. No way. Like, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Danny McBride. I was like, so what's about Stephen Dorff doing Stephen there? Stephen Dorff. <laughs> As I was like, when you said James Vanderbeek, I was like, he was in that? Yeah. Then he told me that James exactly. Vanderbeek had like a fucking army of children. I had no idea. So we have to pick who we would definitely not, not cast for, for Joy? For yeah. Your dad. Oh. <laughs> Let's go pick a mic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but he's not a celebrity, so no, I guess he's not. I no. Well, in our hearts, he is. So I'll go for Wilford Brimley. Wilford. 
diabetes. Diabetes. Yeah. You're not you don't have diabetes. <laughs> you are not joining me. I've seen Cocoon. You're not making me happy. <laughs> yeah. You've looked like you've been 65 you're for 40 years. Gutenberg it up. Jesus over here. Christ. No, no joy there. No. All right. So my Let's talk about uh, my, diabetes and fucking oatmeal. My my not <laughs> not my uh, person that I, I would not want uh, casted is James Corden. I just don't like him very much. <laughs> But he's like him representing my happiness. So there. All right. I'm going to find it. I'm going to send it to you. Hold on. I need to actually make a note of this because right. I always say, I'm going to send it. To, oh, and then you never send then, it. I'm like, or we never put it in. Yes. So I'm not, starting now. I'm going to start making notes look of this, this shit. Look at this. Turning um, over new look leaves at us. here. All right. So. Threading in the dome. Note to self. James Corden. James dancing Gordon. in traffic. Uh, dancing in traffic. So they were doing a a promo for uh-huh. God. What the fuck was it? Was it Cats? Oh, the, or, oh God! Or something out be- or, or a live action Disney movie or something like that. They literally like stopped traffic in L.A. and like were like dancing in costume through the streets, celebrities. They, and he came up to a car and was like pelvic thrusting like in the window and like did. Can you imagine being stuck in traffic like, oh. on your way to the shore? Yeah. Two yeah, and a half yeah, hours yeah. in. Yeah. And all of a sudden James like, fuck it. And fuck this window. Like, dude. Get out of here, James Gordon. Get out of here. James Corden, I know you got fired from that late night gig, I think. Oh man. I, I will send that. you a, I will send you the clip and you oh, can put it in. I'm so excited to see this. It's fucking great. I mean, you how infuriated would you I, first of all, Kevin, to your knowledge, and I know that you don't live on the left coast, but I think that you right. know some things about I've California. been to California quite a sure. bit. Uh Los Angeles known for easy, good, fast traffic usually. No, God, not at all. The direct opposite? Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the, your audience isn't going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, if you wanted to, if you wanted to fuck a window, there's, now's your chance. Everyone stopped. So Nobody's going to stop you from hello, my baby. Hello, yeah, my well, how, how, how long do you think it would take for you, like, if he was just fucking your window for you just to be, to like, just be then used to it? Because, like, well, I'm not the, going anywhere. I can't do anything about it. I'll tell you what, man. They've been moving along pretty quickly because a lot of people now I have guns. Mm-hmm. So there's going to be, you're, you're, yeah. you're, you got a running clock. You fucked until the somebody wrong goes, window, yeah. my boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to die in an elephant costume, James Gordon. <laughs> oh, that's just your skin. Never mind. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right. So, so fear. All oh, right. Well, no, actually, you get to pick next because I picked yours. Okay. So you pick um, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do fear. I can do fear. Go yeah, why right. not? Let's go right in order. Why don't we just go right in order? We don't have to like yeah, bounce around. So, um, cast it for me mm-hmm. because I'm, I'm a huge horror fan. Yeah. So, I need somebody that uh, f- has consistency and terrifying me. And right. that's. Doug Jones or Pinhead from Hellraiser. Oh wow! So he's projecting. F- he's projecting fear. Yes. Okay. Yes. Got it. He's creating fear. I got it. He is fear. He is fear. Yes. Got it. Um, I kind of went the opposite way. Wait, wait, you want, like someone who's be like particularly scared normally? Well, yeah. Is 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 acting with their ability to act as if they are in fear. Gotcha. Um, okay. And my choice for fear would be Nicolas Cage. Yeah. <laughs> he's, just, he's, he's just cause he's so over the top. Yes. Very with, animated man. With everything. Yep. Like anything you take, like he fear is hundred percent him. Yeah. You know what? I, I think I projecting did, fear. I feel like this one I did wrong. I think it should be, you're right. Like they should be someone who is like typically scared or something, but, uh, the uh, person I did not cast in it was, and it doesn't make sense now, but Hugh Grant, because he doesn't scare me at all. <laughs> he just, it's I don't very, know why I'm picking on the British today, but very, yeah, very, fucking James Corden took one in the chops and now fucking Hugh Grant. <laughs> the, old, the old one too. The old. Yeah. Um, so for the person that I would definitely not cast for fear yeah. would be Paul Rudd. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah, you know, like, no, he's my joy guy. I don't want, I don't want Paul to be scared. Yeah, exactly. Fuck I'm that. not gonna. He's not. He's not. Pick. He does not evoke fear whatsoever. He's yes. my joy guy. Yes. So I pick him against my fear guy. Yes. All right. So Anger. You, so go ahead. You get first this one. Ease. This one was easy peasy. Okay. Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. Yes. <laughs> oh, right off, right off, right off. Oh, yeah. It's your dad. <laughs> Joe Pesci is your dad. He is. Uh, <laughs> he no, is. Joe Pesci is way more entertaining than he I is. I know, but he's like, like his the, energy. Yeah, the, en- oh, the energy is exactly the same. Yes, for sure. It's a hundred percent. Yeah, it's the same thing. He, he is. He is anger personified. personified. Yeah. yeah, like any any like fucking Home Alone, Goodfellas, 
casino, all that shit, man. Mm-hmm. Just anger. Anger is a gift for Joe Pesci. Man. Yes. I I couldn't pick anybody else. Yes. So, um, oh, now I now want to change it. Uh oh. What do you what, what are you switching up from? Uh, hold on. Let me think. Hmm. I was going to say Nicolas Cage. Because oh, well, again, because he's a very oh, no, yeah, he's a, a very he just shows anger yeah, well. Yeah, he you know does. I mean? Like very much so. Yeah. Crazy over the top. Yeah, anger. I feel like that would be my kind of anger. I, I like that though. Yeah, where it's it's not exactly like it's not like some, it's not rage exactly. Right, it's just like showing like she's like rage, rage. Yes. Um, what about not casted? Because I, I got a good one. Um, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, he's, he's too like, handsome. He's, yeah, it's like yeah. You're like nah. I you mean, can't be mad at even him. if Deadpool, he's doing it like happily. Yeah, exactly. He's like killing people with joy. Oh, joy. <laughs> Again, yeah. just a good, you don't want that. That's not, he does not have, he no. doesn't generally, like, I've not seen him in anything. I've seen him in lots of action things. Right. But it always feels like his, he's got that Ryan Reynolds, like, kind of, again, boyish, impish, right. upbeat energy in every action movie. A hundred percent. He's never like, he's never like a monster. Like, no. Like, even in, uh, what was the, uh, what was the video game one where he oh, was not the non-player character one? Yeah. Uh, free man or something like that. Uh, free guy. Free guy. Yeah. So even though, like, he's just like, he's just too. Yes. He could have been my fucking, he could have been, your- been my not fear pick, you yeah. know? Um, yeah. but yeah, he's my not anger pick. Cause he's just, I, he never, never projects as angry to me. Yep. Um, not casted for my anger. This is an easy one. Mm-hmm. Mel Gibson, because <laughs> his kind of anger comes a lot of, <laughs> A lot of racial epithets and uh <laughs> Who's racial epithets? I said racial epithets. Who's Rachel? Rachel, Rachel epithets. epithets. Hi, I'm Rachel Epithets. <laughs> don't subscribe to her blog. Oh no, no. You definitely she don't want be, to. Uh, All right. All right, we got disgust. Yeah, so it's your turn to go All first. Right. So this one was easy for me because right. no one portrays disgust in my mind better than Jim Norton. <laughs> He's disgusted by literally everything. The dumbest. And it's the funniest. He does the best. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. And on that alone, Jim Norton is um, my pick. Oh, man. I'm, I, uh, I lost my, I didn't write down and I'm, my brain is farting. Um, oh, God. Not Wilford Brimley. Um, oh, my God. Uh, Who is it? Hold on. Make your brain get it. Make um, your brain get it. So he's like, he is one of my uh, favorite. Like, he always does the movie with the other guy. Um, oh, this is helpful. <laughs> Jack, when, <laughs> he does the movie with another person. <laughs> he's a guy, I think. It's a. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's uh, he's he's always like the opposite of um, Jack Lemon. Oh, well, uh, Walter Matthau. Walter Matthau. That's it. Yes. He would be my disgust. He does disgust. Oh, pew. What the <laughs> hell is that smell? When he threw the fish in his back seat, <laughs> dude, he goes pew pew. Oh, dude, what the hell is that smell? Walter Matthau is oh, just the so grump. Absolutely, oh, yeah. perfect person for disgust. Yes, absolutely great. All right, what about uh, the person that you would not choose for disgust? Um, that's tough. I'll give you mine. Um, all right, go ahead. Steve O. Because he's not disgusted by anything. <laughs> so, like, he's like, who oh, you want playing this is, disgusted? This is Steve O. <laughs> and right. this is uh, poop sandwich. Poop covered, poop covered moose balls. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Poop covered moose <laughs> balls. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have him smack me in the face. Uh, oh yeah. God, he speared yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, his his um his uh barometer is broken when it comes to disgusting things. So I think that I'll uh yeah I'll not go with him. Um, I'm just trying to think of like because I kind of went the opposite way of like mm-hmm. portray like actor or what like doesn't portray disgust. Um, uh, Ryan Gosling. Ryan who, Gosling. Yeah. But he's in fucking Barbie for Christ's sakes. Yeah, he is not the guy I want to be my emotion yeah, for disgust. disgust. No, no, and he's super. No, be, yes. Yeah, he's super too. Yeah, he's he's too again, pretty. Like yeah, exactly. There's too many pretty men. Yeah, in this I, dude, fucking uh, like Barbie's I mean, getting Ryan, all this. Ryan, fucking, Ryan Gosling, I do not want to be my my barometer for, for disgust. My emotion of yes, disgust. I totally understand that. All right, we got one more sadness. 
Yep, you're up first. Okay. So this one, again, for me was easy. No one says sadness to me like Robert Smith from The Cure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That's It's like cheating, it's, though. Uh, no, it's perfect. He's exact. He is. Like, when you think of, of uh, again, mopey, sad-looking man with sad lyrics all the time. Sad, sad, sad. Yeah. You know? It's the fuck Robert Smith and the cure. He he looks the part and he is the part. So no better representative of sadness in my book. I, I'm taking James Vanderbeek <laughs> because of that. <laughs> I'm going to snapshot that and uh, send it on over. I can't argue uh, with that. I mean, that's. That's that's the, that's no, the cry meme, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> and it's perfect. Sad. That is sad on sad. Yeah, wow, that's a good uh, one. Good counterpunch <laughs> to fucking Robert Smith. <laughs> it's sad on sad. It is indeed. All right. So, what about? Uh, do you have anybody that you would not cast for sadness? Paul Rudd. Of course. <laughs> Of course you wouldn't. No, honestly, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, yeah. Yeah, I just can't. Odom Shank, man. Yeah, Odom. It's just, again. I got my boy Hom Tanks, man. Hom Tanks, man. I love me some Hom Tanks. Now, unless he was around his son, Chet, then he would probably be anger. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Anger. Or or disgust. Disgust. For sure, disgust. Yes. Joy when he leaves. (laughs) Joy when he stops doing reggae. (laughs) Oh, God. Stop speaking patois. (laughs) Dude, I just want I, a lot I, of mercy. I just saw uh, someone wanted a, a, a specific clip from a specific episode. They had asked about it, so I sent it to, and that was in the in the the Tom Hanks one or the sorry the Chet Hanks one where it was just the the, the like quick fire of clips of him just being like <laughs> boy, <a shot>. boy, <laughs> <a shot." laughs> yeah, internet gone mad. <laughs> Um, so, okay. So the person that this is going to be so specific, and you're probably not going to know who okay. it is, but I have to. Uh, pick uh, not casted for sadness is just too much is the dad from the Natalia Grace documentary. Did you see that shit? Uh, Colin and I have, it, it was, we watched this documentary. It's, it's basically remember the movie orphan. Oh yeah. About the girl who yeah. pretended like she was like seven and turned out she was like, it was 16 it's or like 13, whatever. 30, 30 ish. Right. Something like that, right? Or, oh wow. She was that old. Well, this was the movie was like 13, 13 30. or 30 ish. Right. right. But it. this particular situation, this happened after that movie came okay. out. And this girl from the Ukraine, uh, Natalie Grace, Natalia Grace, sorry, not Nat- Natalie. Um, she gets adopt. She basically is being put up for adoption. Mm hmm. Um, by this and these these people who are have been like it's wild like they their family they had they were on sixty minutes because their son was like some crazy genius okay um and uh like they had this uh what's a, a fucking like a, a I don't want to say it's like a school or something like that but something to that ilk like some kind of a shelter or or something for kids with disabilities right. like so yeah like on the surface in the very beginning you're like wow these people are great right and they go to, to adopt this girl the right. grace and uh the documentary is just takes so many turns and you just you start to feel different things for the different people like you start to hate the parents and then you hate her and like it's going back because it, right. it's a very complicated weird thing but this one guy the dad whose name I can't fucking remember off the top of my head I'm going to look it up right now Natalia Grace's yeah the Bar- Barnett what's his first name um, father Michael, Michael Barnett. Barnett so I'm going to sh- I'm going to show you a video of this guy I want to see if I could find something that. So why is he not sadness? Uh, because this is the most over emoting, like cry for absolutely no reason asshole I have ever. He's hateable. Okay. Like, he he just he overacts like the entire time. He's making it all about basically about him and how right. he's a victim and all this shit. And he's just insufferable. I'm gonna cut. So he's a celebrity. No, he's not a celebrity. He but basically, you said celebrity. Well, he's not a celebrity. I'm saying like, but and you get to he, choose the celebrities playing your has, different emotions. Pick a celebrity, not a random. Oh, f- but no, but the dude's got. A, he's in a six, at like a very popular documentary, and he's still like in the news. He's a person. His six-year-old adopted daughter of being twenty-two 
That's what he accused his daughter of being 22. Yes. When she was six. When she was. Yeah. So okay. they, they have like a birth certificate and all this shit to back it up. But anyway, point being, that guy is an over emoting fool. If you know who he is, you know what I'm talking about. He sucks. And you would know over emoting fools. Very funny. <laughs> all right. Can we all move right. on to Stinko? Now we can. Yes. All right. So, 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 so. Um, we have four matchups, mm. and this is determining the last four. This would be the people yeah, that go up against this is the final four. Baby. This is music going up against TV. This is fads going up against uh, movies. I am so, so fucked. Let's start with. We'll go. I'll do the. Let, I'll do the ones that are just me first, and then right. we'll do the ones yeah. that have your contestants in it. Last. I got it. Thanks. All right. So, <laughs> so uh, we'll start with music. Psy versus 6699. Now, what is your thought on this? Because this was impossible. It, it, I, I, but yeah. when I put up the video on Instagram mm-hmm. of Gangnam Style, yeah. and then I put up a video of our friend 6699. Goomba? Um, Do you remember that? Yeah. Goomba and... I, there's no way I would watch those two videos and be like, all right, I hate them both, mm-hmm. but I would rather watch, I'd rather watch Psy a hundred out of a hundred times. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if there's a reason that it got but, 4 billion views, but it's still fucking, Psy is still fucking terrible. At least, at least fucking... Six nines videos have fucking titties and ass fucking flying everywhere this and is money and cars and fu- I for- forget about his rainbow hair. He's a background his rainbow character. teeth. His rainbow. He's a, he's a background character in my world <laughs> yeah. in his videos. And my titties and ass flying yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Champagne hey, can, and can Lamborghinis and yeah. can you move can you out of the way? way? Come on, dude. Over we'll there. just put your music over this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not. I would not be surprised if Psy won. All right. It sure. was the number one seed for a reason. That that video was fucking everywhere, and it's just him doing this, and then well, a guy just fucking yes. dick thrust right. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And like, like over his head in an elevator. It's yeah. like what the fuck is happening? Uh, weird, weird things. And Korean the, things yeah. that we don't understand. <laughs> 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 they have their own march. Yeah. Going to the beat of their own drum. All um, right, go for it. All right, so what do we got? With a percentage of so, if I had to pick, I would take Psy. Okay. 63% of the people disagreed with you. It's 6699 six, moves on. All right. And it, it I, was... I still call foul because I think he became popular after the 2014, but you can't hate on the fact that he sucks. He does suck. <laughs> I still like his music. Yeah, I know, which is weird. Um, and some of it bangs, dude. I can't fucking help it. Some of the songs are good. He's oh. not He's not untalented. He doesn't have millions and millions of dollars for no reason. It's a good point. He might be a snitch and annoying and a lot of people wish he was dead, but he this. makes fucking bangers. All right. Well, Can't fucking help it. Okay. So we'll go to fads. Mm. Now, again, this was last week's what the fuck <laughs> who happened. The, who the fuck knows here? Uh, planking Google, versus Google, Google glasses. Google. <laughs> I mean, like I, how we even got here in right. this bracket. I told you last week, I was like, I thought for sure. Like if I was going to lose any bracket, it would have been this one. If because I had to pick cr- one to do tomorrow, walking out the door. Mm hmm. Like Google Glass, I wear a pair of Google glasses or, or just randomly blank. stop and lay the fuck down on something. Yeah. Like, I would take Google glasses. Of course you would. Yeah. So my, I'm going to say planking one. Okay. So uh, before we get to that one croc related thing that I'd like to share, since we've uh, pretty well, much de- the amount of croc facts that we've been <laughs> having. Facts. Croc this is new, new, new podcast. Croc yes. facts. Apparently, no more spot off. Croc facts. <laughs> croc facts. So, uh, Colleen was like, hey. Call me Steve Irwin. Colleen's like, hey. Go. <laughs> uh, Colleen's like, because hey, I get, good be news. Dead. I got, I, I got, <laughs> what do you say? Because I want to be dead. <laughs> I want someone to stay ready to stab me in the chest. Um, so, uh, she goes, oh, good news. Because we, I, I guess the, our beach bag, like, got torn or something like that. We lost our beach bag. Right. But we need, so, we need a new one because we're going on vacation. Right. So, I got a new beach bag. And it's made out of the same material as Crocs. So it's like a giant Croc we put our stuff in. I was like, <laughs> I can't get a fucking away from these things. You pick them in Stinko and these. Croc bag. Croc bag. Croc bag. <laughs> croc bag. That's, All right. that's your Croc fact for this week, folks. There you go. All right. So here we go. All right. Um, I'm saying that planking one. 53% of the vote went to Google. Oh, 
Okay. So I was wrong on both. There yeah. you go. Seems to be the case. <laughs> So, All right, so now these are the last two TV and movies. So, which so, you got, so, so we got six, nine, and fucking and Google glasses. Uh, Google glasses. All right. So which one do you want to do? Uh, you pick. No, it's, you. I'm, I don't care. Just pick one. Right. Uh, we'll do TV. All right. All right. So Come on, work it. <laughs> work it versus Dude. Honey Boo Boo. Red, 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 red neck and eyes. Nice. Nice. So I was like, I'm doomed. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking well. doomed. Although the trailer for Work It is no fucking picnic. It's, oh, no, 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 no. It's it one of the worst things you could. F- two episodes. <laughs> two. It's one of the worst fucking things. They could. had others that they burned these. There was no. That's the that's the dumb thing about these shows. What's that? Like Bosom Buddies. Yeah, yeah, work that, it. yeah. Like, there's no way you would ever. Even in the in the, even in the world the trans world that we live in right now, yeah, where it's perfectly accepting and and fuck, tra- yeah, whatever, trans trans yeah. bl- blends in a lot more than you fucking think. A hundred percent. Um, there's no way those two dudes would be mistaken for women. They ever. look like men in drag. <laughs> yeah, drag. They, and they're yes. like, hey, I'm Gary, whatever his name is. <laughs> Dude's like grinding on her. Fucking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy is a dude. Yeah. Um, Bust out a giant hoagie for lunch. Yeah. It, it, it was the it's, it's the stupid dumbest. dude. It's Watch just the trailer. It's on our it was on our Instagram page. Fuck it sucks. Seventy five percent of the people. Honey Boo Boo. Fuck, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So, honey. it's Honey Boo Boo versus 6699. <laughs> They're like, we're not regnecks. We have all our teeth. Dude. And the uncle's like, we are regnecks. Dude. And they're it's, doing like fucking mud splash. It, it, like, it, it's interesting to me that, and I, I mean, like, I say never say never, but I would say never right. would I ever subject myself to a reality TV show. Like, cameras just following me around right. constantly or, at, no. Listen, no. I have some rednecks in my fucking family, and they are not at whatever that's not level that, that no. is. I mean, that's that, it's bad. I could share some shit. I'm not going to, but oh, we're talking about bad. genuine Southern fats here. But <laughs> <laughs> genuine, genuine <huh>? Southern fats. <laughs> Fuck! I knew I was fucking boned on that one. Yeah, honey, boo boo for the fucking victory. All right, man, this is it. I knew it was going to come down to it. I knew it was going to come down to it. Versus the cobbler, it's either be cobbled or be damned. All right, so don't draw it out. Just give me the facts. <laughs> Just give it to me straight. No chaser. Well, fifty-eight um, percent of the people said <laughs> movie theory. Yeah. Adam Sandler. So yeah, you, my friend, will Here's, be eating uh, a chip. Soon, it, uh, it's uh, not gonna help my. No, oh, yo, God, oh, shit, I forgot about that. God damn it, that's okay. I see, I see what you did downstairs. You're like, oh, Stinko's coming out there. I better plant the seed that I have stomach issues. Can't eat that chip, it's gonna ruin my life. Uh, so, um, <laughs> one of my biggest downfalls, yeah, was uh, I forgot to vote on Twitter, first of all. <laughs> so, Dude, I couldn't even, so close. I couldn't even steer the vote to myself now because I fucking forgot. So, yeah, so yeah. we got the, the it was the brackets, Instagram, and Twitter. Twitter, it was a clean sweep. Everybody voted for movie 43. All right. So So now it's movie 43 versus Google Glasses. And I'm out fucking- again in the fucking semifinals. Um for the second year in a row. No, didn't you make it to the final two last year? I don't think so. I think you did. No, I think I didn't. Was it the year before that? You made it to the final two before. I guess. I don't remember. Um, I could have sworn that you made it last year. But so who's who's leading in the brackets right now? Um, I don't know. I have oh, to calculate okay. that's that. Right. But not I mean, me, apparently. No, no. Well, I mean, look, here's the thing. All right. The the your downfall, in my opinion, in this tournament, this particular year was I don't know how the fads that you picked, which I thought were wit YOLO. Yeah. Hashtag jeggings, YOLO. Yeah. I thought, dude, your picks in the fast Crocs. Uh-huh. I was like, there's no way. But mm-hmm. you actually made the point of, and including now apparently me with this fucking Croc bag. Well, this happens to me, and, and maybe next year I tally the fucking votes. <laughs> My books are open. My books are open. I can show you every Facebook story, all the Instagram, you I, know, um, Twitter's there. The, and uh, I have the brackets. I can show you. The um, Yeah, I think the problem is, is that... Um, the the ones that I pick that are are decent have like it's like Adam Sandler. Nobody's gonna vote versus over Adam Sandler versus Movie Forty Three. Right. 
And even as bad as Cobbler is. Right, because they still love Adam Sandler, is your point. Right. And there's so many people. It's not like movie 43 was a particular. Maybe this is why it has been doing well in this. Is well, because was, So your one seeds, Psy. Yep. Movie 43. Yep. And um, what was the. Uh, well, actually, oh, Honey Boo Boo was my first pick. Well, that was your first pick, but yeah, that, that's so, technically my number one C because so, you had the first. Yeah, see, so yeah, I my my downfall was not going reality TV. Yeah, because I could have gone fucking Jersey Shore. I yeah. could have gone any of that shit. I was I just, surprised you didn't do it, but I I understand why you said you know what I can't I can't say <sighs> something stinks if I never watch it. So well, it's hard for me to make the next episode go faster. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah let's go. Please, for the love of God, oh God, fucking. <laughs> Move this along. Yeah, well. Um, so you're in it alone. I am. Um, so it's really just for the glory of the people now. Yes. I mean. Who gets I, it right. I, I would. I am happy that I won again. <laughs> I, that I don't have to eat that stupid chip because ever before, since we made that bet, I've been champion. having nightmares. <laughs> I was like, please, for the love of God, four don't time, let this happen Four to times me. to go to my O champion. I mean. I have a, I have a proposal. Um. You eat the chip instead. <laughs> hmm. this is my second, my second proposal. Like, <laughs> I mean, you have to give it a shot. I understand. <laughs> my second proposal. We you switch. Me eating the chip. No. <laughs> <laughs> we switch it up next time. Okay. All right. All this negativity is getting me down. We do a, a positive. A, a not, positive. A not, stink of yeah, a not stinko. So I'm we do stinko. a be, we do a best of. Okay, of what? Of the of same what, chip? Of a year. We'll okay. Pick, pick the year. Should we like, do? Like we a, do it, we'll do it. One of the time periods that we've already hit done, with the, yeah. the band yeah, we've stuff. We've already done Stinko. Yeah, let's flip I, it. I, you know what? I'm all for positivity. Yeah. So I, I, I can't stink anymore. <laughs> I'm all stinked out. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't, you can't, can't even stink it up the joint. We can't stink anymore. I cannot stink anymore. Well, I yeah. like that. It's it's a it's a different yeah. spin. So and, we could uh, do we could do like the fucking early '90s and just do the best of. I mean, as as much as you fight for what you think is terrible, you will fight even harder for the things that you think are great. Right. Yeah. So, like again, this is where I think maybe this is how we can introduce some some right. uh, some other people to help right. uh, fill out the field. And if you lose that one, you eat two chips. Fuck <laughs> you. At the same Go time, fuck <laughs> yourself. Don't I'm just start like to, to like set, set the clock at three sixty five. You're like, now it's, now it's just about the waiting game. Yeah, like, <laughs> house again. Yeah, exactly. What was he waiting? He was waiting for the check to clear, right? Yeah. It was a, what was the year that he said? It was like five million a year, five thousand or something <laughs> like that. Millhouse is so stupid. He's like, oh, thanks a lot, Bart. Yeah. He gave a check for like what was it? Like a million dollars? Oh, like that? Yeah, something like that. Some crazy number. That's so fucking funny, dude. Ah, uh, shit. Well, look. All right. Stink of tomorrow. Another stink of in on. the books. Well, not for, <laughs> for one of us. Uh, we're going to keep on keeping on, folks. No, but uh, I know we're not. <laughs> Kevin Kevin is going to leave. I, I understand. I won't be posting any polls. No, nope. <laughs> no, nope, no, nope, no croc facts for you. <laughs> but like, vote for I don't give a fuck or I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Does it matter? My stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. Please call help. <laughs> Oh uh, man. All right. Well, see yeah, you little carts. Bye bye, little carts. <laughs> <laughs>